already know how you are. And I don't have to ask how you're doing, because I know that. Oh, sorry, but who are you? And why are you sitting on my bed like you own it? Forget that. How did you get in here? It's no fun. Who opened it? Vivian, there is nothing enticing. I want you, please. There's no frame, no flowers. Look at the wall. The color is so dull. I mean, what is this? Are you representing your village masquerade? Come on. You are a lady for crying out loud. How's that any of your business? Wait. How in heaven's name do you know my name? Speaking of heaven, the Almighty decided to let you see it. I'm calling the police. <laughs> you would be the first human to call police on her dead What? You're my what? I don't believe you. A guardian angel will be dressed like his modeling for Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Vivian men do not model. And if you want to see my robe, just ask. Oh my god! Oh my! You really are! I am. Wow! Hold up. I'm thin. You're chubby. I'm flat. And you have ass. Garden Angel, are you stealing my stuff? I am your Garden Angel. You are seeing me for the first time. And of all things you could ask me out of curiosity, is your ass. Okay, fine. Let me ask you something now. Sit down. <sighs> so, I've always wondered, are uh, all dreams messages from the Almighty? Because there's some funny dreams I have that make me wonder. That's a better question. The Almighty speaks to men in his forms. Okay. Dreams included. Sometimes it's your subconsciousness playing out. What do you mean? For example, if you're thinking about eating Akara all day, you're gonna chop Akara in your dream. <laughs> Oh shit! Stop cursing, young lady. Stop cursing. In all the reports I sent to the Almighty, it's always she cursed today. She cursed today. Can you stop cursing, young lady? Sorry. Um, do you have a name? I am the guy that is. Yes. You can name me. Really? Um. I'll call you Lewis. I like the sound of it. So, where exactly can I see you? I am here to teach you things about life. To let you live a little. you to say Oh, Lord. Please be very careful. If that vehicle had hit you, you won't get to where you're rushing to. Be very careful. Ah. I am with you always. Now be more careful. Good morning.
money, Jimmy. No money, Jimmy. Who's that man? And why is he sitting on Mr. James' desk? That's Mr. Jeb, with the new sales officer. I don't understand. Mr. James just passed last week. They found a replacement for him already. Thank you, my friend. He was an employee here. A good one. Hmm. The boss will pay his family a condolence visit. I already added that to his schedule. That man worked here for five years. He dedicated his time, energy, and talent to this organization. Now he's dead, the boss replaced him even before he could pay his family a condolence visit. I'm sad he's dead. But to keep this job, I need to obey orders. I was instructed to get a replacement, and that was what I did. Fine. This is just how life works. You must go on. Remember what happened this morning. Imagine that it has resulted in a fatal accident. Your boss would have replaced you without blinking. And this job is the altar in which you have placed your social life. The funny thing is you don't blame him. One man in his right senses who lets his business crumble because of the loss of an employee. Mr. James is a very good employee. This organization must keep functioning. You are making a case out of this. And that's because you have allowed this job to take over your social life. But eventually, you are scared that if they find you somewhere around the world, they will replace you like Mr. James. I am on your side. All I'm telling you is that you leave a little. Have fun. Jason has been calling you. Pick his call. He's a nice guy. Pierre has been calling you for girls' night out. Call for that. Have fun. Life is fleeting. Today you have it, tomorrow you don't. And there's a new destination. You either choose to enjoy the ride or not. All I'm telling you is that you leave a little. That coffee shop you've been wanting to visit, this is the time. Go there. Come on, hurry to your desk. The boss is ready. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I would like to apologize for Um, Vivian, I need this ready by Monday morning. I'm sorry, today is Friday and it's almost close to the end of work. So what is that? My project actually is, it will be ready on Tuesday. I'll work on it on Monday. <laughs> but you work weekends? Not anymore, sir.
Okay, Luna. Hey, so a quick unusual one. Is that invite for the girls' night out still on the table? Don't tell me you've changed your mind. Is it? Of course. And guess what? It will be mad fun because Jane is coming this evening. Really? I've missed her. I'll be coming around this evening too. I'll be expecting you. What is it? Let me ask you. Do you keep your head on the wall? Shut up. See you soon. Louis, are you there? I see my girl is doing well. I am. I'm excited already. I am too. Henceforth, you won't be able to see me again. Mm -hmm. And I'll always be alone. Sure. I'm so grateful to the Almighty for letting me see you. From now, I'll be more intentional about my life. I'm starting with this girl's night out. Stone of the reason that you wouldn't lie up, give your life some sauce. Cause you'll be gone in a while. Flames burn a thousand spark, little luck shone in the sky. Shone, what if I'm so out? My girls tonight and take some time and be all right. And now, rain some love and light. I'll take some time and be all right. Tell me new adjectives, please. They don't spell my shit. Dear Lord, guide me to love me some more. I wonder for I die. I will live my life. I could be alright while I know they finish you. Oh, I'll go. My girls tonight. Take some time and be alright. And now, rain some love and light. I'll take some time and be just right. And now, go, my girls, tonight. I'll take some time and be alright. Take some time to be alive. And now, go my name tonight. Say, leave the life and be alive. 